First, Uber got hacked. Then, Grand Theft Auto got hacked. Both allegedly by a teenager. How is Uber responding, Jack? With a job post. With a job post. Yetis, Friday afternoon, if you worked at Uber, you were clearing out emails, trying to get to Inbox Zero, you got to get the drinks in the marina, you want to get that espresso martini at Balboa Cafe, you're really excited. And then you saw this message on Slack. I am a hacker. I have hacked Uber. Uber has suffered a data breach. Kind of awkward. Maybe thought it was a joke. It was not. And how did the hack happen? The hacker says that he texted an Uber employee pretending to be the IT manager and got that employee to text him the employee's password. It was that simple. And the hacker was only 18 years old. According to the New York Times, employees literally thought it was a joke. The stock market didn't. No, it did not. The stock for Uber, how much did it fall, Jack? It fell 5% because experts say that this was a total compromise of company security. Experts say that this 18-year-old hacker got access to all of Uber's systems. It's like the hacker had keys to Uber's car. It's Ferris Bueller's day off is what this is, Jack. It's Ferris Bueller's day off. <laughs> the hacker threatened to dump all of Uber's source code, which sounds important, yes. onto the web, but hasn't done that yet. He's kind of done nothing. Neither one of us would know what to do if we got that source code, <laughs> would we, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> now, Yetis, Jack and I were talking on Friday, and we said, you know what? Let's not do it story on this. You know, let's see if more develops over the weekend. And it did. It did. Because then Jack and I woke up on Monday morning and we saw this. Grand Theft Auto had been hacked the same exact way. Grand Theft Auto, the classic video game. High school, you're stealing cars in the video game. Your mom's not happy that you're playing this all the time, right? Grand Theft Auto is owned by Take Two. No, she wasn't happy I was playing it. It was a very violent game. Take Two, a publicly traded company whose video game, Grand Theft Auto, just got hacked. People have waited nine years for a new Grand Theft Auto. It's been nine years. Nine years. That's why this hack is such a big deal. And get this, the new one, Grand Theft Auto 6 isn't coming out for two more years. But the hacker just spoiled Grand Theft Auto's debut by posting videos of it two years early. Yes, he posted 90 videos of in-game action. It was an incomplete game. You can see, like, code that's not even done. But that's not even the wildest part. It turns out the same hacker is claiming responsibility for both the Uber hack and the Grand Theft Auto hack. Yeah, one hacker is claiming he pulled off two major hacks in just 72 hours. The hacker says he did both hacks through social engineering. Social engineering. Pretending to be the IT person on a text message and getting a password. And he says he did it for fun and that Uber security was, and I quote, let me just make sure I got this correct, awful. He said it was awful, Jack. Not a good day for Uber. So Jack, what's the takeaway for our buddies over at Uber and Grand Theft Auto? If you want to see a company's priorities, Check out their job board. Yetis, you can't see a CEO's internal business plan or secret budget or private office notes. But you can get pretty close to those things by simply looking at the company's career page. Yeah, job listings. Job listings reveal where a company is putting its money and what direction it's going in. So after that hack, we looked at LinkedIn and checked out Uber's available jobs. Well, in the last three days, Jack and I noticed a dozen new positions for security engineers popping up on Uber's job page. App security, enterprise security, ID detection expert, senior threat detection analyst. Besties, it's a case study. If you want to see a company's priorities, just look at their job openings. Uber's priority is defeating this 18-year-old hacker and anybody else like him. Thanks for jumping in T-Boy style. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more pop biz that you need.